Hi everyone, Karen here, Mixed Media Artist and Creative at By The Wolf Moon. Welcome to the introductory video for my Coming Home To Self series of videos that I am creating. Uh, this is a series that I really felt the need to put out there in the public domain. I really wanted to be able to support people who had had similar life experiences to me um, who felt like or who feel like no one understands um, them or where they're at who feel like they need support but they don't know where to get that support from and basically I just wanted to be another voice I guess in the lives of people who really feel like they don't fit and they're not understood um, they're not heard uh, and they really want some ideas maybe on how to find themselves again um, a couple of things I want to say, I don't have any special knowledge, everything that um, I have to say is not anything that you can't figure out for yourself, I'm not some sort of, you know, wise guru who, or anything like that, I just uh, want to share my experiences with you and some of the things that I have done to turn my life around um, in the last couple of years and I'm by turn my life around I mean turn my life from a place where I felt completely misunderstood completely misheard um, where I felt like I was a foreigner in my own land um, where I felt I had no one that um, knew what I was going through or who could understand me and where I was coming from. So I don't know if um, other people feel like that. I'm sure that there are plenty of you that do. And uh, if so, then I hope you'll be able to get something out of these few videos that I'm going to do. I don't know how many there's going to be, I'm just going to talk until I run out of things to say. Um, the format will be basically um, that I'll do a quick kind of um, video like this where I'm talking directly to the camera about my life experiences and things that I've learned along the way and stuff like that and then um, I will do a, another video which will have a creative activity um, if you don't know me creating is has been my lifesaver it's been a lifelong passion of mine it's something I've done my whole life and um, basically I have used it to really figure out um, who I am and what I want from life and so I've created a series of um, very simple activities that you too can use to um, help and help you get to know who you really are again and what you really want from life. So I'm not here to make you rich, I'm not here to tell you that in 12 months time you'll have, be living in a million dollar mansion and life will be perfect, I'm not here um, for any of that kind of manifesting sort of stuff that seems to be all the rage at the moment, I'm simply here to offer um, a um, kind of I guess a support from a support perspective um, so that people who feel very alone um, in the world and um, are very different from the world around them know that they aren't alone and that others have felt that and been through that um, as well and just to offer some tips and things that I've learned along the way that may help you um, move forward and have a more comfortable, blissful, joyous life.
that's really my goal is just to help people enjoy the life they have again. So I thought I'd start with a little bit of my background. Um, it has been my life up until now. I am in my early 40s, so I would say my life up until now has been basically, I just wanted to say horror story. <laughs> it has been, it has been um, interesting to say the least. <laughs> um, I had a very unsettled childhood um, I um, have suffered a lot of loss and a lot of grief uh, throughout my life so um, I lost my father when I was 11 in a car accident um, at 18 I lost a woman who I truly treasured uh, as a mother like figure. At 24 I lost my fiance to suicide um, and then so that's that's kind of the tip of the iceberg of the losses that I've suffered personally. Um, other things that have happened I have I was diagnosed with multiple sclerosis uh, 12 years ago now. Um, I have two children I have a son who is just about to turn 21 in a couple of months um, and I have a 13 year old daughter who suffers from autism. Actually I don't want to say suffers because she doesn't, she is amazing. She is autistic and it presents lots of challenges for us. I currently homeschool her, I had to pull her out of the school system here in New Zealand because they just did not um, understand her and were not interested in helping her um, and so for and for our situation it was um, better for me to stop working and um, keep her home with me so that she would have what I felt would be equal opportunities to thrive in this world which we all know for some people is not that easy to thrive in. So I'm home with her and that is a very um, demanding role. Um, I have to say I don't have, uh, it's, it's very much me, myself and I when it comes to looking after Emily. She does have a very good father um, and um, he, um, is very good at wanting to support her and support me where he can um, but Emily has very strong attachment issues at the moment so she will not be out of my sight basically very easily occasionally we can get her to um, go with her dad for maybe an hour or an hour and a half but um, other than that uh, it's, it's all on me which is fine um, I although it is hard it's um, very tiring um, I love my role now as Emily's mum and she has taught me so much so I truly enjoy being her mum and, and having the role that I have um, I'm a solo mother and my son and his girlfriend live um, here with me and Emily's father actually lives downstairs so we have very separate lives um, and um, it's not easy but for the sake of Emily being able to have her father in her life at the moment um, that's how it has to be and I am more than happy to do that for her and make that allowance so um, that's a little bit of my background. I don't even know if that's interesting. I'm going to have to watch that back and see <laughs> what I talked about and whether it's it's um, something that um, anyone 
wants to hear. Uh, but basically, I guess what I'm trying to say is I have had a traumatic life. Um, there are so many more details that I will probably go in over this series of videos. Um, and it might, I mean, you might question why I'm sharing all this stuff with you. Um, why would I put all that out there in the public domain? And it really truly is just to, um, I guess, help people understand that um, I do have a lot of life experience and I really would like to help people who have had to uh, feel some of the feelings that I've had to feel over my life. Um, you know, I really want to help the people who are just tired, tired, tired of life, you know, wondering when it's going to get better, um, just waiting on edge for the next disaster to happen, um, all of those things, because for a long time that was me. For a long time I was so terrified of the next disaster happening um, that I, I just felt like I was constantly in a living in a cold boggy marsh and, and um, you know I want to be able to offer some warmth I guess and comfort to other people who may be feeling like that. You can probably tell there is no script. <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to talk about on the day. I don't work well with a script. I um, I speak, um, I can get my thoughts out much better or come across much better when I'm just talking off the cuff, hopefully. <laughs> Otherwise it's, I'd sound like a robot. So I feel like this is the best way to do it. And then it's sort of free flowing and, and whatever comes up, comes up, which, um, which is really the best way for me to do it and the way I'm most comfortable doing it. So I hope you can, um, appreciate that so coming home to self so basically uh, about maybe five or six years ago I got to a place where I was very very depressed probably more depressed than I had ever been um, I was a single mum with the two kids to look after um, Emily hadn't been diagnosed yet with autism we were struggling with school for her that was a big part of my day I was living below the poverty line I was living um, away from family and friends in another country I did have thankfully my um, I did have my best friend not too far away from me and um, I have to say she probably um, kept me going most of the time but basically I would dread waking up every morning and I would dread going to bed every night and um, there was no joy that I could find in my life. I was sick and um, I was tired, so tired, so stressed and um, just not coping at all and I could not see a way out of it. I could not think and I spent 24 hours a day thinking I could not figure out how I was going to turn my life around but I knew I had to or I wasn't going to survive and I wanted to survive I wanted to survive for my children mainly um, and um, but I just could not see any way that I would be able to do that so eventually I uh, decided to come back home to New Zealand um, my family is here and um, another very good friend of mine is here um, and it was just I just needed familiar territory I, I just needed to be in familiar territory and so we did that and it was still very much a struggle um, for us uh, for me and the kids um, but I guess a change, like they say, change is as good as a holiday, so it kind of um, gave me something new to focus on. Um, I was still very down, but, uh, you know, managing, 
managing. And then one day I went to a friend of a friend for a Reiki treatment. And at the end of the treatment, she said to me, this is, this is, I don't know how you're going to feel about this, but I can't get anything from you. It's, I cannot feel your energy. It's, you know, there's nothing there. And it made complete sense to me. It didn't scare me at all. It made complete sense to me. That's because that's exactly how I'd felt and had been feeling for years. I was basically dead inside. I was completely numb. Um, I really felt very little. Um, and um, I did not feel alive. I basically felt like I was at the end of my wick you know when the candle gets to the end of its wick and it starts to die down and it's just a tiny little flame that's what that's how i was living i felt and when um joe said that to me i realized that i had to do something or that little flame was going to go out and i didn't want to leave my kids without their mum so <clears throat> i decided then and there that I, whatever it took, I was going to change my life and how I felt about life. And so I um, got in touch with a lovely lady who uh, has become my, or one of my mentors. Um, she's actually a women in business mentor and a spiritual mentor for me. Um, and once I followed, started on that path, I also um, found a very good homeopath to help me with my health. Um, and the brilliant thing about these two women is that they think very similarly to the way I think. And um, we speak the same language. And that just that has changed my whole life, just having someone that speaks my language. Um, has really helped me and changed my life and that then I could um, really start to think about what else I was going to do to to change the way my life was going and that was probably 18 months to two years ago now and now I am at the stage where I really want to um, put myself out there in the public domain um, for other people who are looking for people who speak their language and if they resonate with me and, um, you know, would also like to get to know themselves again, then uh, they have someone, someone to listen to, I suppose, listen to, and I will listen to you if, um, you know, but someone who understands them. So uh, that's basically why I am doing this Coming Home to Self course. Um, I'll also do um, some videos. So each kind of topic that I cover, each time I do a video, it will have the video of me talking to camera like this. Probably just talking about some of my life experiences and how I've dealt with them and thoughts and feelings and emotions and things I've learned along the way. Um, there'll be a creative um activity in a in a following video and then um, I will also be sharing some of the meditations and stuff that I've done um, over this time um, with you um, which are all focused on getting to know myself better and really really coming home to my soul and understanding it so um, if any of that sounds like it might be something you're interested in then please subscribe and follow along um, and I will endeavor to do one video a week at least or one yeah series of videos a week at least um, it will not be able to be at a set time unfortunately or day because it really totally depends on how Emily is that's my daughter um, and and whether how free I am to get in front of a camera and a quiet kind of room um, but I will do my very best to get them out as often and frequently as I can so that it's not too disjointed um, for anyone.
um, please feel free to message me if you have any questions or would like to talk about anything. Uh, you can follow me at By the Wolf Moon on Facebook. And I also have a group called By the Wolf Moon Creative Connection, which once I do the video for the first creative activity, I will explain more about. Um, I think that's going to be a group where we can share our creations if we want to and talk a bit more um, kind of privately um, as a group uh, about things that we have going on or, um, you know, just whatever is happening in your world at the moment that you need a bit of support with. So I think that's about all I have to say for now. I'm going to watch this back. It's 20 minutes, 21 minutes long and hopefully I don't just delete it all and start again. Well, we'll see. So <laughs> thanks for lasting this long if you have. See you next time.